Good morning and welcome to today's New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Housing and Buildings. Just a reminder, no one may approach the dais. At this time, please silence all electronic devices. Chair Sanchez, we are ready to begin. Good morning. I am Council Member Birina Sanchez, Chair of the Committee on Housing and Buildings. Today, we are voting on proposed introduction number 653A in relation to continuation of the New York City Rent Stabilization Law and resolution number 256, a resolution determining that a public emergency requiring rent control in the city of New York continues to exist and will continue to exist on and after April 1st, 2024, both sponsored by me. The laws establishing rent regulation in the city are subject to renewal every three years and are currently set to expire on April 1st, 2024. The 2023 Housing and Vacancy Survey indicated that the citywide rental vacancy rate is 1.41% representing the lowest vacancy rate in 56 years. Even more alarming is the availability of units with the lowest rents. Units, renting, excuse me, units renting for less than $1,100 had an availability of 0.39%, and units renting for $1,100 to $1,649 had an availability of 0.91%. The HVS also found that citywide, 25% of households are severely rent burdened, paying more than half of their income toward housing costs. Those with the lowest incomes were the most impacted. 86% of unsupported households earning less than $25,000 per year were severely rent burdened. Together, these findings are evidence that our city's intersecting crises of rising eviction, record homelessness, and housing unaffordability are only worsening as New York is experiencing a housing shortage and affordability crisis, the likes of which we haven't seen in decades. Continuing rent regulation is just the first step toward addressing this housing crisis and ensuring that one million renter households in New York continue to be pr protected, guaranteeing them a right to a lease renewal, regulating their rental increases from lease to lease as voted on by the Rent Guidelines Board, and protecting them from frivolous evictions. The rental protections provided by rent regulation are a key pillar of three that must move forward in order for the city to progress against the housing crisis. We must increase housing supply by removing red tape and using, red and using tax expenditures to solve for the deepest need. We must strengthen tenant protections as rent regulations do, and we must expand income supports to aid New Yorkers in affording their homes. Proposed intro number 653A would extend the expiration date of the New York City Rent Stabilization Law of 1969 from April 1st, 2024 to April 1st, 2027. Rezo number 256 would determine that a public emergency requiring rent control in the city of New York continues to exist and will continue to exist on or after April 1st, 2024. I am joined today by Council Members Abreu, Dinowitz, Feliz, Ressler, Hudson, and Aviles, and I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. Thank you. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings on proposed introduction 653A and resolution 256. Items are coupled. Chair Sanchez. Aye. Dinowitz. Aye. Feliz. Aye on all. Abreu. Aye. Aviles. Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you. Hudson. Aye. Aye. Wrestler. Aye. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. And Madam Chair, that is a full committee. Thank you so much, Clerk. And with that, this hearing is adjourned. Thank you.